the papers love recently, yeah. and I know the papers love to, they love to kind of like um, um, define people very easily by something. And so yeah. you've been kind of uh, <laughs> described as, well, there's a picture of you having a good old time there. As a kind of a, a party girl. At the that was at your party, that was last week, yeah. Um, <laughs> don't you love it when you see a young woman who can <laughs> unhinge her lower jaw like a snake? That's, uh, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but you do, you do seem to be carried out of clubs on a regular basis yeah, at the moment, or is that unfair? In my defence, I'm 25 years old. I've been single for a, a good <laughs> nearly two years now. I'm totally within my own rights to go out and have good time with my mates. Yeah. I don't do it on a work night. Absolutely. No. <laughs> okay, no I'm here now. I'm sober. OK, so girls, now when you're... You don't live together. You've never all lived in one big house, have Yeah, we have. Yeah. Or yeah, when you were doing the show, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, was that fun? Was it was it exciting? Was it interesting? How did that work? It was quite a hard time at the time, though, as well, because we were doing the, the competition. There was a lot of stress in the air. Yeah, so. yeah. And who's the kind of normally in a group? You get one person who is kind of more in charge and more orderly and, and bosses the other. And oh. the, She's the, um, boss. the mother. Geeky organised one, I'm afraid. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so you bully the others, you I, torment them? No, them? not at all. We're I'm not, not in bullying. charge, as in okay. in charge She's at all. Just We're all in charge. Really I'm just very organised and I kind of take control of all that side of things. And who would be the messiest person? Nicola. 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 Okay. <laughs> She's getting better. She's getting yeah. better in her yeah. defence, but in the yeah. beginning it was a disgrace. Oh, yeah. like in the beginning. <laughs> oh, and in my defence, come on, in the beginning I was like 16, 17. Yeah. What teenage is not messy. Yeah, but what were you like? What, what sort of messy? You couldn't see the carpet on a bedroom floor. There was, was like mould on the oh, things. No! Like things oh, no! There was mould on her clothes. Nadine, oh, okay. <laughs> just you wait. Just you wait. Now, on a totally different subject altogether, you must get offered a lot of strange stuff, I'm sure. What, what sort of stuff do you get offered? And <laughs> we things probably. What? The ghost hunt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I want to talk about this. Oh, no, Why it's not? This is the weirdest thing we've mm. ever done. Okay, well, explain to everyone what it is. Okay, sorry, we were asked to go basically ghost hunting. Ghost hunting. And now, we agreed. That's the word. Because we agreed. Because it's something we all believe in. Come on, we do talk about that. And well, it's I'm something sure. we're sceptical about. Some of us are okay, quite okay. sceptical about. Well, let's talk. This is for a TV show in which, mm -hmm. and it's called Ghost Hunting with Girls Aloud, <laughs> which is just about <laughs> the best title for any show I've ever heard in my life. Because you know exactly what you're going to get. Okay? And you know you're going to want to watch it okay and i'm hoping you'll do some more i'd like to see maybe you know deep sea fishing with girls allowed <laughs> home buying you know yeah, yeah. we yeah. could work alongside david attenborough and do something great Except blue planet with yes. girls allowed um i've only seen part of the show so they came to you and said uh, did they ask first of all whether you believed in in the paranormal whether yeah, you they did didn't they and but they didn't care experiences no. but no. then they were like go on anyway yeah. but we're all <laughs> avid watchers to, to be fair in, in things like those sort of programs yeah, and we're yeah. all really into that and then you were talking about you've been seeing ghosts and things yeah, yeah. so okay. I'd already seen something, so... So you'd seen a ghost? Yeah. Well, well, I don't know if it was a ghost. Something that you couldn't Off explain. Off a floor. Right, I had a puppy. He was about six weeks old at the time. And one night, about one o'clock in the morning, he just started going berserk, barking, barking, barking at this one spot on the stairs. So I was absolutely terrified. Was anyone else in the house with you? No. OK, just you. Just me and you my You and dog. your puppy? With mm. my puppy. <laughs> and... Um, was she... Has she been hitting the sauce? <laughs> you, hadn't been, you hadn't been huffing glue that evening. <laughs> I promise. I promise. Okay. So you're so, sitting up, you're sober. I'm stone cold. I'd just gone had to bed. You, had you gone to bed? So you turned just, all the lights out? The lights were out and the dog started barking. So all of a sudden, I seen a bright, well, like, what I can only describe as a bright puff of smoke. On the stairs where the dog was barking? Yes. yes. I don't know what he's laughing at, because if it happened to you, you would <laughs> I was not laughing. She phoned me then. It's Kimberly Dead. literally lives like five Dead. days up. Five Did doors. the dog have a pipe in its mouth? <laughs> had he been smoking? Possibly. And so she phoned you so at one in the morning. Me. And I bet that's a phone call you want to get. <laughs> hey, La, I've just seen a bloody puff of smoke near the dog barking. And she was petrified, absolutely. I was, petrified. And, I, and I'm not easily scared. Not the scariest oh, ghost yeah. you could have seen, though, a small puff of smoke. No, no. Yeah. it wasn't. Sure, a, at least. Uh, if you yeah. stayed long like enough, your mind can, can see things. Turn you began it. to see things, innit? I thought I began to see evil, yeah. <laughs>